Hi there, this is Megan from Megan'sBeadedDesigns.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make a brick stitch earring with fringe. And this one here is a two color design. I'm using blue in 1930 um, size 11 and yellow number 554 also size 11. The yellow is a little bit bigger than the blue even though they're both technically 11 just because they're different brands. What you'll need is the two glass seed beads, Japanese beading thread, a beading needle, an earring hook when you're done, and of course scissors and pliers to put the earring hook together. So to start off, in order to create your earring, you're going to make the base or the foundation, which is this row right before the fringes and right before it starts building up and in this particular design the base row is three beads tall so we're going to ladder stitch this row so it starts with three yellows and three blues Pull the three yellows and the three blues to the bottom of your thread and then tie the ends together. Then what you're going to do is bring your thread, your needle, and thread back up through the blue of the last two sections you just added. And then you're going to continue ladder stitching this base row. So for the next two ladder stitches you're going to add three blue beads. So for each additional row, you'll add the th next three beads and then bring the thread up through the bottom of the last three beads you just added in the first step. And then you bring them back down, bring your needle back down through the three beads that you just added. The middle of this design is a row of yellow beads at the center of the foundation, so we'll add three yellow beads and ladder stitch them to our design. Now we're halfway through the ladder stitch, so we'll add three more blue beads and then a final row of yellow beads, and that one will be done with the base of the earring. So that is your foundation ladder stitched together. So now we are going to brick stitch the top portion of the earring. So to start your first row of brick stitch, you start with the first two beads, or the first row of sets of two beads for the first layer. And the first layer above the ladder is in two beads deep. So you will add two yellow beads and two blue beads to our needle. To apply the first row, you look at the loops of thread that are interspersed between each row within the ladder stitch, and you thread your needle through the second loop after the first one. And thread through. 
then you will bring your needle back up through the two blue beads that you just added. Now, to keep your rows really straight and tight and concise, what I like to do is go back through down through the yellow beads, through the second row of your ladder or the second row of the brick stitch once you get up higher and go down, pull tight, bring it back up through the next piece of the ladder and up through the two blue beads that you just added. And see how that makes what you just added nice and straight and it all lines up? Just like bricks, how bricks are every in between the cracks of the previous bricks that were laid before them. So now for the remainder of the row for brick stitch, instead of adding two sets, you will add just one set of two beads at a time. So to follow this pattern, we'll add two more blue beads. And then you will go through the loop following the one you just came out of. Just thread that through and then bring the needle back up through the last two beads you just added. So to follow this design, our next set of beads will be two yellow beads. through the next loop, thread it through, and then once again two yellow beads, through the next loop, thread the needle through, Completing the pattern, now we'll add two more sets of blue beads and then a final set of two yellow beads. Now I'm adding two beads at a time, just so we're clear. So now to continue on to the next row of brick stitch, we'll do just as we did before with this, the first row, only we'll be heading in the other direction. So to follow this pattern, we start with two yellow beads and then two blue beads. Once again, going through the second loop over from where we come out of. And back up through the two blue beads and once again this kind of makes it curved on the edge so to make it nice and tight I go back through the two yellow beads and down through the last two blue beads of the previous row back up through the blue beads next to that and through the last two blue beads that I just added and that just keeps it nice and tight. So continuing with the pattern we will continue to brick stitch two yellow beads through the very next loop two blue beads Two yellow beads, and two blue beads and two yellow beads, keeping both sides symmetrical.
And we go on to the next row once again, just following the pattern with sets of two for each row. This time we start with two sets of two yellow beads. Now add two sets of two blue beads. Keep it symmetrical with adding two sets of two yellow beads at the end. Alright, moving on to the next row. We'll start with two yellow beads and two blue beads. As you can see, we're creating like a V shape here. And two more sets of two blue beads. Finish off with a final set of yellow beads. Now for the next row we're going to shorten the row by the number of beads that we add. So instead of adding sets of two beads for each addition, we're just going to add one. So one yellow bead and one blue bead. Go into the second loop from the where your thread comes out of. Since this is a short row, I feel no need to tighten it up, so I'll just go up through the blue bead and continue on to the next brick, which would be a blue bead, in through the next loop, back up through, finish off with one yellow bead. Next row, one yellow bead, one blue bead. And finally, for the last two loops, we'll add two yellow beads. And now we're adding the loop for where the hook can go through. So I'm going to string on six yellow beads. And then I'm going to thread through the yellow bead next to the bead that my thread is coming out of. And that will make a loop of beads. And to strengthen it up, I'm going to thread back up through the yellow bead next to me. then back down again. And now I'm going to thread all along this edge, bring my needle through the row of yellow beads off to the side until I come out the very bottom. So for the first fringe I'm going to string on 10 yellow beads followed by 5 yellow beads. So leaving the last five yellow beads that I added separate, I will thread back up through the first ten yellow beads that I added and up through the three yellow beads that are part of the ladder foundation that corresponds with this fringe. Then I will thread back down through the next set of beads that is part of the ladder stitch, or in this case three blue beads. Then for the second fringe, I'm going to thread on 15 blue beads plus 5 blue beads that I will once again loop at the end. So a total of 20 blue beads. Then for the third fringe, I will add 18 blue beads followed by 5 blue beads for a total of 23 blue beads. And 
And for the fourth row, I will add 21 blue beads followed by 5 blue beads for a total of 26 blue beads. Now for the center row, because the yellow beads of the brands I'm using are a little bit bigger than the blue beads, I'm going to add 21 yellow beads plus 5 blue beads, which is the same amount as the fringe before, but because these are larger, it will go longer. If your beads are the same size, then you'll want to add more than 21. You'll want to add 24 plus 5, but in this case, I'm just doing 21 plus 5. So now for the remainder of the fringes, you will want to mirror the previous fringes. So you will go with 21 blue beads plus 5, and then 18 blue beads plus 5, and then 15 blue beads plus 5, and then for the last fringe you will once again, as you did in the first fringe, do 10 yellow beads plus 5, and then the two sides will mirror each other. So once you have all your fringes done, you'll want to tie off your thread. So to do that, take your thread back up, through the side of your brick stitch work So you come um, in between the last two beads and in between the loop where the hook will go and do a double or triple square knot right in that top loop nice and hidden in between those last loop of beads so no one can really see your knot. So now to add the hook Open up the eye of your hook, slip it into the top loop of your earring, close it tight.